It has been quite some time since I spoke about the confraternity clash that is going on in the city of Benin between Black Ass and Supreme Aya confraternity. And the reason I haven't spoken about this is because I was just hoping that this young man would call for a peace talk or a ceasefire or something like that as we move into the festive period. I was really hoping for this so that I can post about the peace talk for everyone to celebrate it because to be sincere, the death rate, the confraternity killings in the city of Benin is getting too high. Hello everyone, welcome back to Nigerian View. And in today's video, we are going to take a look at everything that has been going on in the city of Benin between these groups. We will talk about the people that have been brought down, when they were brought down, and we will also take a close look to why this confraternity war is escalating. I am also going to be playing some voice notes that has went viral, two from vigilantes and one from a member of Supreme AA confraternity. So without wasting any of your time, let's dive into the video. A lot of people started saying that this confraternity war escalated when this young man by the name of Lagbaja was brought down last week. But let's take a look at what has been going on before Lagbaja was brought down. Now, on the 15th of November, yeah, a month ago, on the 15th of November 2023, there was an update that someone was brought down around Oselo area right there in Benin City. And this person that was brought down is said to be a member of AA and he was brought down by some young men who are black ass members and this incident happened in a place called Anigboro Junction to be precise and they said it is located around Oselo some people said it is Oselo Shell according to how it was explained to me now they have said that the man that was brought down is a married man and he has been a member of AA for a very long time however AA member has said that that particular man that was brought down is having some mental problems problems. They said he is a member of AA for real but they said that the young man was having some mental issues and a lot of them pick offense to that man being brought down. Five days later, the AA members retaliated in another location by bringing down this young man that you are currently seeing on your screen and this particular incident happened on the 28th of November 2023 the young man that you are currently seeing on your screen is said to be a member of black ass his name is said to be a digwe and he was brought down by some AA members at Owelu Road. According to what was said by the lady that was making a video after this young man was brought down. Jesus, sweet the apple from Owelu Road to the OPCC here to Jesus Christ. Let's see call the apple now. We don't call no for when we will do. They all cut out near that passport. They all cut the head. They cut the leg and they cut the leg. Oh, they give one for heart. Jesus, we don't know the person now. Cut. I don't know what see the apple will kill. Now there were some confusions after this young man was brought down because he was very difficult to identify. So a lot of people were arguing which confraternity he belongs to because people didn't even know who was brought down. And the main reason for this is because after the AA members pulled that head, they cut his head, they removed his head, his two hands and his two feet. So they just threw the body at the roadside right there at Owelu Road and in the morning it was difficult for people to recognize him. I think he was later recognized by his tattoos according to ways on the street and it was discovered that he is a member of Black Ass that was brought down by some AA members. And since that 28th of November, 2023, there wasn't really any update about the clash between these two groups until on the 6th of December 2023. In the evening of it, there was an update that this young man that you are currently seeing on your screen was brought down. Now, this young man is popularly known as Labaja. He is said to be a member of AA. As a matter of fact, the young man is said to be the former leader, the former number one man 
of Eye in that Owelo where he practiced. It is said that some black ass members had went to the marketplace, probably where the young man owns a shop. They said they went to meet him in the market. They brought him down, they removed one of his legs and also his head. And after this young man was brought down, they raised a voice note from the vigilante in that area describing that the young men that came to bring him down, they were holding AK-47 and it is said that one of the young men were holding a pistol and the young man that was holding a pistol was the person that was shouting the black ass slogan. Let me quickly play the voice note of the vigilante so you can also hear when he described what happened. Uh, my fellow commander, take me safe from Mercedes Charlie, Prince of the Holy Scepter. Uh, to hold my commanders in the local government. Please, uh, there's a few ugly incident within my AOR here. Uh, Voting those came and uh, killed somebody called Lagbaja, a power lad that is going to add the law. That is where it just happened. They came with Votron, Votron, which rest, uh, which rest color. Uh, two of them were, 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 were they hold the color, where the rest, the rest of them were, they had compassion, and one guy who pistol. That is one that was, was, was shouting, I yes, me, I yes, me. So we just call the proper risk uh, they are taking this course away now to Montuari. But this junction, we are still within the power line here, try to do the NIFU to make sure that we can be able to apprehend them. Please read me, copy me, Tango Yankee, over. So you have heard from the vigilante, and this young man that was brought down, like I said earlier, is popularly known as Lagbaja, a former leader of his confraternity in the place where he practiced. So when he was brought down, the AA members really got furious, they really got pissed off, and after this happened, there was a voice note of AA member accusing a young man who worked with NDLEA and he was also accusing someone else of being part of the hit squad that went to bring down Lagbaja. The very next day, the NDLEA young man had came out with a voice note denying the allegation saying that he is not part of the people that went to bring down Lagbaja. The young man had said that he lives outside Benin City, that he hasn't been to Benin City for six months. I posted the two voice notes when the a member accused him and also of the young man denying the accusation. But that very next day, which was on the 7th of December 2023, the AA hit squad went rolling around that Owelu axis. They were looking for members of Black Ass. And that very morning, we also got an update that a young man has been brought down close to Owelu's papers right there in Benin City. And the young man was brought down by AA hit squad and the young man was said to be a member of Black Ass. Now some AA members had claimed that it is the young man who worked for NDLEA that was brought down. However, the young man that worked for NDLEA had debunked it and saying that he is still alive, he is not the one that was brought down. And then the Black Ass members had accused AA members for bringing down an innocent young man. They said the young man that was brought down at Uwelu's papers is not a member of Black Ass, that he is innocent. But the AA members had finally said that the person that was brought down at Uwelu's papers that very 7th of December is not the NDLEA young man. They have however said that the young man that was brought down is a member of Black Ass as they said that the hit squad recognize and know the young man. They have also said that they don't go after people that are innocent, that whoever they go after is a confraternity member. They said they do their due diligence to make sure that they don't go after the innocent. But the Black Ass members still maintained that the person that was brought down is innocent. So this is the argument between these two sides about that particular hit that was pulled that very day. And the next day, which is on the 8th of December, 2023 another young man is said to have been brought down around a location called wasota right there in benin city and this time the young man that was brought down is said to be a member of black ass and he is said to have been brought down by some AA members according to the information however black ass members say that they are not aware that any of their member was brought down in that particular area called Uwasota in Benin City. And the very next day, which was on Sunday, another young man is said to have been brought down 
At Uwelo, the young man that was brought down is said to be a member of Black Ass and he was brought down by some AM members. And when this happened, the vigilante in that area also made a voice note to describe what happened. So let me quickly play the voice note of the vigilante so you can hear from him. Uh, 0064 Sura Charlie Bosa's local road to control. Control informed that they all message us right now nah, nah, that somebody has been shot dead by Uwelu at Uwelu now by that power like Joshua, by that for Joshua. One is going to Adola, one is coming from Uwelu, one is going to Ogidabara. They just show somebody dead now from that place now. Over. So you can hear from the vigilante when he said that someone was brought down in that Owelo area again. And the young man that went down is a member of Black Ass, as I have explained. And after that incident that happened on Sunday, 11th of December 2023, another young man is said to have been brought down around barracks. They said this happened around Okida Barracks. And there is a picture of this particular young man that has been going viral on the internet. And it is said that the young man was brought down by some black ass members. And the young man is a member of AA. However, AA members have said that nothing like that happened around Okida Barracks. They said that the only AA member that has been brought down in recent time, let's just say this December, is the former number one man by the name of Lagaja. They said they haven't lost anyone since that particular incident happened. As a matter of fact, the AA members have said that they brought down four black ass members since this whole incident started. But the black ass members say things differently as the black ass members have said it was four people that were brought down that that they have only lost one member and the other person that is being tagged a member of black ass is innocent and fast forward to a young man who is said to be a vigilante was brought down around Abel Street, around JRA in Benin City. Now, this young man is not just a vigilante. He is said to be the head of the vigilante in that particular area. And the young man is also said to be a very popular member of Black Ass. After this young man was brought down, a lot of people started saying that he was brought down by AA members. Other people said that he was brought down by members of Marfite. Now the young man is popularly known as State. But after a few minutes, it was discovered that it is not even the AA members that brought the young man down according to the explanation. They said that the young man was brought down by some armed robbers that was trying to rob someone of gold worth millions. So it seemed like the black ass member who is a vigilante was kind of standing in their way because he was wearing a vigilante uniform so this is the reason that the young man fired at him and brought him down they said they also took his tools they jumped into a car and they started driving while they were trying to escape they had an accident ran into another car and it seemed like they got injured some people said they were taken to the hospital why some said they escaped and it is said that the bringing down of the young man by the name of state has nothing to do with confraternity it was just a robbery incident let me play this voice note so you can also hear when one of the AM members was explaining that this was a robbery incident i agree they also that judas they are alive a great house i agree this platform i hope they did this platform i agree to that if you want to wish something about area for some now be loud on you get one guy with a war rob, the guy did with gold of gold with what nine million. So they were rob, they were called rob the guy. I he did that place with Latin like, for Ego Barre. So they look and say, man, that process, if they won't run out, this guy go raise a lab. And they all take over to just drop out. And they do what they want to do, they move. As every day move they go serve their car, say we go get accident. There is another car take move, remove one by the motor, the motor take move come out. So they should take play. 
But some black ass members still don't believe that this is robbery. And this is what a lot of people should understand about the confraternity war that is going on in the city of Benin. These two groups say different things about the war that is going on in Benin city. What the black ass member know about the war, what they think is going on, is different from what the members of AA think is going on and you can imagine that this can even make it difficult for them to call for peace anyway i will leave it to you guys on the comment section for you to speak about which side you believe or what you really think is going on but these are the informations that are out there and you know that the street is always talking anyway you are watching nigerian view <laughs>